everyone, I'm back today to talk about some more awesome new books that everyone should check out. Uh, at Threats or Teens, we're pretty busy right now getting ready for uh, appointments and girls coming in. A lot of new donations have been coming in for the new year, so we're excited with everything that's been happening. But I want to talk about some really inspiring and helpful books, informative books about dealing with other people, about how to keep going when maybe you're a little bit discouraged. And the first thing I'm going to actually start out with is Oprah Winfrey's book, What I Know For Sure. This book is a compilation of her columns from O Magazine over, over from over a decade. Their favorite uh, columns that she compiled together, the ones that she thought would be most relevant for a book, and it's interesting. She starts off with how she was asked in an interview, what do you know about life? And of course you think Oprah, this incredibly accomplished and successful woman, would know a lot about life and have a lot of advice to give. And she said she kind of stuttered and didn't know what to say. And when she thought about it more and more, she realized that she had a lot to say, but she needed to, to start writing. So ever since that moment, she created a column in O Magazine called What I Know For Sure. And as I said, she put her best columns in this book. And she organizes it into different sections. So for example, she'll have a section on compassion or a section on connection. There's all types of different sections, you know, persevering. And in each of those sections are columns that specifically relate to that topic. I highly recommend this book because it's actually really inspiring if you are having an issue or if you don't know what to do or feeling discouraged. I would honestly just pick up this book. It's really quick to read a couple of her columns. It maybe will take five minutes to read one or two and you're immediately inspired and you want to keep going and you know hopefully emulate some sort of success that Oprah's received having the longest running talk show you know the best talk show in history she has her own television network and she's a producer and she does movies and she has her magazine so if you want to read advice from one of the most successful women alive today I would pick up this book next book that I have is really interesting. It's called The Like Switch by a man named Jack Schaefer. He worked for the FBI for years and years and he interrogated people that the United States government needed intel from. And in this book, he talks about a lot of the techniques that he would use in these interrogations and how regular people like you and me can use these in our everyday lives to, you know, get a leg up when communicating with people and just understanding how people communicate and or how bodily movements and gestures impact how people think of you. So it's a really interesting book with just subtle body gestures. One that I learned was when you're standing in a circle you see a group of people in a circle. Um, you Generally you can enter the circle uh, to talk to people if their feet are pointed, if there's an opening, but if all their feet are pointed to each other and closed, that might mean that they're having a more private conversation. So there's tons of awesome tidbits that you can learn from this book. Highly recommend it, and it's just kind of interesting to read some of his stories from being in the FBI as well. Another book is called Better Than Before, Mastering the Habits of Our Everyday Lives by Gretchen Rubin. I was fortunate enough to see her do the keynote speech at a conference called Rock the World, this organization called Savor the Success in New York City, I think it was in October or September, and it was all these really fabulous female entrepreneurs that had these companies, and for the keynote they brought in Gretchen Rubin, who some of you may know is the author of the book called The Happiness Project. This book that she wrote, The Happiness Project, I recommend that as well, but this new one, she talked about it in her keynote address, and it's all about how habits can make people happier. So she goes into why that is, and then she talks about the type of people there are. There's satisficers, maximizers, and how that plays into how habits are formed. So one of the things that I like to, that she talked about was, you know, if you choose to do something in advance that takes away the choice in the moment and it takes away stress because sometimes take making choices it can cloud up your mind and you don't know what to do but if you make this choice in advance you take away the guesswork so one of the ways I actually started implementing this is I started just you know being a college student I you know don't have a lot of time so I went to I went uh, forward one week and I 
put together what I thought I was gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. And it was actually really helpful when I would get to each day and I'd be like, oh, it looks like I plan to have eggs this morning and a sandwich for lunch and then I'm gonna make some chicken for dinner. Uh, and I didn't have to think about it at, you know, six o'clock and be, okay, what's in my fridge? What do I have? What, I, what can I make for dinner? So that's one small way that I implemented a new habit into my life. And I thought that it really helped this past semester with, you know, planning out what I was going to eat in a small way. But this book just is really fascinating. The psychology behind making choices, making habits, and how you can use habits to be a happier person and lead a happier life. Lastly, I have a book called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. It's actually an older book. I believe it was written maybe in the 1950s or 60s, maybe the 40s, but I'm pretty sure it's the 50s. And this man, um, Norman Vincent Peale, just talks about how positive thinking leads to positive results. And he has tons of anecdotes. And it's just overall an interesting read. At the end of each chapter, he gives a list of steps of things that you might want to do in your daily life and implement to make you more positive and a happier person. You know, all these books are about happiness and you can achieve that. I've read it multiple times. There's certain chapters I really like and I think all of them have valuable information. So everyone should definitely read this book. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you have any recommendations for other books that you think might fit into this category of happiness or how to interact with people or psychology or whatever it may be. Anyways, we're hoping everyone's having a good day, a good week, and we will see you soon. Keep checking back and subscribing for more new videos. Bye guys.